Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsPlanet.tv. Um, we've been really lucky. Um, Target has gone and invited us up to go watch the World Seniors Darts. Um, so we're going to be heading off to the Circus Tavern shortly. I'm going to go pick up Owen, who's one of the content creators for DartsPlanet.tv. Um, but yeah, we'll do a little video on the way up there and hopefully get you some great content. Um, thanks again to Target, amazing for them to do this for us. Um, so yeah, see you soon. Okay, we're about halfway through, we've picked up Owen. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. And we're about to take the second half of the journey up to Circus Tavern. Go and see the darts. Yeah, here at Circus Tavern, um, we're a little bit early, so, uh, find parking, try and get something to eat. But here we go. Let's switch the camera around. No, there we go. The Circus Tavern. But uh, yeah, we're going to uh, go watch the darts, um, have a look around, hopefully uh, meet some of the players. Uh, but yeah, and we'll have a good time. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, make sure we are uh, do Darts Planet proud and make sure that we're loud. Yeah. So, right, we'll see you all soon. Bye bye. Hey. <laughs> okay, as you can see, this is our view from the stage up here. We've got a lovely view down. We can pretty much see around the whole venue, which is really smart. We can see all the players, all the people here to enjoy it. Obviously they do the film over there in the corner, there's the uh, trophy, which is really, really cool. So we've got a nice view of that as well. You've got your screens, stage. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. Okay, up in the venue, Target's got their mod system put up. It's up in the foyer, showing her about. And as you've seen in our previous videos, how it works. It's all up and nice. But we'll have a bit more of a play with this a bit later. Once it dies down a bit out here. But as you see, it's all up. Looking nice with the mod board and the Aspar, which don't forget the Aspar boards are on sale at the moment. Uh, go on to their website and you get a nice discount. Okay, right, we've been really lucky. We're up in the press section here. Um, it's got a beautiful stage view over here. I'll show you that in a second. Obviously, we can't film all the private stuff on the screens or anything, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Obviously, we'll uh, get some footage around the venue. Um, really lucky. Um, all I can do is say thank you to Target for setting all this up for us, and hopefully we can bring you some really, really good content. Um, we've got uh, Matthew Eggers up here as well. We've already seen old Bobby George and John Lowe and a few others. Yep, exactly. So we've been really lucky and hopefully we'll be able to get a few of them on camera for you as well. Um, never know, might get a few questions in, a couple of photos and what have you. Um, but we're really looking forward to this and yep. hopefully you lot are too. And thank you to Target again. Okay, it looks like we're about to get started. Really looking forward to this. First one on, we got old uh, Richie Housen against the uh, fantastic Phil Taylor. It's kicked off at one o'clock. It's just two minutes past at the moment, but running a little bit behind. But we can see uh, Bobby George down there doing his interview. Um, yeah, really looking forward to this. It's going to be a fantastic match. I just know it. Uh, any thoughts? Um, I think it's going to be a tough one to call. Richie, obviously, the local... 
bloke will give it to you and he will have a lot of support, but Phil Taylor, as we know, will also have lots of support too. So. Yep, yep, but uh, we'll keep you up to date and uh, tell you what's been going on and everything like that. Catch you later. Well, what can we say? A fantastic match, really unfortunate for Taylor there. Uh, Richie played fantastic. How many legs on the chop? Uh, seven on the chop. So he was uh, one set down, one leg down, and then he went two sets to one up and one leg up without the fly. Yeah. Well, Taylor got one back. That was amazing play. Um, at the first set, Taylor's finishing phenomenal, but he just could not keep up with Richie's scoring after that. And uh, didn't have that many goes at a double and the ones he did unfortunately just didn't quite get but amazing game we've got plenty more to watch really looking forward to it but uh gutted for taylor uh, i really wanted him to get through on this but well done richie yeah great game all round. Awesome. a lot of support for richie here as well yeah yeah a lot of people were behind him uh, but still got to see the taylor up on the stage again Fantastic, uh, but looking forward to some more. We've got, we've got, we've got Fitton, Painter, we've got Thornton to play as well. Leather the gates against Daryl Fitton next. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. We've got a short break, but uh, yeah, we'll keep coming back to you. Here with Richie, he's just uh, beat the Power Taylor up on stage. How do you feel? Uh, unbelievable, really. Uh, sort of dream come true to, to play Phil in a competitive game and up on Circus Tavern. Um, yeah, very, very happy. Yeah, fantastic stage here, isn't it? It's fantastic. The, the setup's unbelievable. Yeah. You had some fantastic people behind you. I hear them shouting, cheering. Um, your scoring was phenomenal. Um, after that first set, you were sort of like storming ahead. Didn't really give Taylor many chances. Felt comfortable? Um, I really didn't the first set, as it, it probably showed, and, and Phil probably give me a wallop in that first set. But uh, I had to get my head on, and, and the, I think I won. I was seven on the trot. Yeah, and, seven uh, legs, fantastic. And that obviously settled me down, gave me a bit of confidence. But we feel you've just got to, you've got to always be on it because he can come back and and, and beat you. That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, well, we've watched two more games now. We've watched Leonard Gates and Daryl Fitton. Fantastic game. Fitton was going really, really strong. And then I don't know, just fizzled out a little bit. And uh, well, Gates from America played fantastic. Um, any thoughts on that one? Um, yeah, I mean, Leonard Gates was uh, a bit like slow out the blocks. Daryl Fitton had a great first set, um, but then Gates started firing, as we know he can. Yeah, a lot of 180s in that game. Yeah, and uh, came out a 3 1 winner. Well, what can I say? Thornton's game there, absolutely fantastic. A 98 plus average overall. He had eight legs over a ton average. A couple of 1 2 fives in there, so. Yeah, fantastic game. What do you thought, think of it? Yeah, I mean, a great game from Robert, and uh, Duff was, was um, good to get a set off him because playing like that is going to take some stopping in the semi final. Yeah, he, he was playing fantastic, well deserved place there in the semis. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how the uh, day pans out. Me too, it's a, the semi finals of Kevin Painter against Robert Thornton, the repeat of last year, the repeat of revenge. Yeah, and obviously and against Gates against 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 Gates, yeah. yeah. That, that'll be a really good game. Um, tough to call what the final's going to be. There's uh, some uh, good games coming in. Okay, we just watched the Gates versus Housen, and uh, what an amazing game. Housen come on through, the local boy, really glad about that, I wanted to see him in the final. Gates played phenomenal as well, can't take it away from him, but some missed starts of double really did cost him, both scored really well, some fantastic ton plus averages there as well. Well there we go, Thornton versus Painter, Thornton's gone up 3-0 in sets, really doesn't reflect how close some of those legs and sets were. Uh, Painter started off really strong, uh, thought he was going to actually steamroll it. Uh, and then all of a sudden he sort of went off the board and thought he just totally capitalised on absolutely everything. Uh, so where, where are you thinking? A couple of missed starts to win the first set, that was the turning point right there. Yeah, yeah. But Painter let that get through and thought he improved. Every leg he played from then on, and Kevin got worse and it became a very one-sided game in the end. Yeah, well it's going to be an interesting final, obviously we've got yeah. Richie against Thornton there. Um, 
the local boy against the defending champion. The crowd's going to go wild. I'm really looking forward to it. The way Thornton's playing, oh, I would have said it would go his way. But with the crowd behind him, I think Housen could clinch a few here and could even win it. I think it would be closer than the final last year, which was 5-1 for Thornton. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Be but either way, I'm going to enjoy it. It's been fantastic. Again, I've got to say a massive thank you to Target for letting us do this. Yep. And uh, yeah, but we'll be back and we'll do a little recap after the final. Yep. See you then. See ya. Okay, uh, right, I've got Aaron home now. We've uh, obviously been at the World Senior Darts Tour. Um, mm -hmm. Saw Thornton win. That was absolutely fantastic match against Housen. It was a real sort of like David and Goliath game and Housen brought back really, really well um, to go, I believe, 4-2 uh, at one point, wasn't yeah, it? almost 4-3. Yeah, very almost 4-3. But Thornton's scoring through the whole tournament was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, a very well-deserved win. Um, any thoughts on the night? Um, yeah, it's been a fantastic night, fantastic day, in fact. And uh, yeah, um, amazing display from Thornton, I echo those words. And uh, and he's still unbeaten in the World Seniors Championship two years running. Yeah, well, I, I think, uh, what was it? The last game of the whole thing, the final, was the most sets he dropped in the whole tournament. <laughs> yeah. um, he only dropped one before then. Um, but yeah, like I said, scoring was phenomenal. Housen was amazing. He's a really nice guy as well. Um, Lovely to see him get the support from the home crowd. As oh, well. the crowd were amazing as always. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, don't forget, uh, head over to dartsplanet.tv and uh, have a look. Look at the site website. The magazine's available. Head over to YouTube. We've got dartsreviews.tv, dartsplanet.tv. And uh, make sure you tick subscribe and those notifications so you can see everything coming up in the future. And a big thank you to Target again for giving us this opportunity. Yeah, definitely. Target, top form as always. They're always fantastic um, with us. And it was really, really appreciated to get those tickets. Um, but uh, yeah, from me and Aaron, we'll see you again soon. Goodbye. See you soon.